Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's quick video, I would like to show you how you can format the text column in a SharePoint list. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I have an issue tracker. It has, happens to be a list, uh, a custom list uh, that I have on my site, uh, not a library, a custom list. And uh, when you enter the new you know, entries into the list, um, one of the you know, boxes that I have, uh, one of the fields is called issue description. And this happens to be just a regular text field. Um, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, it's essentially the, um, you know, the multiple lines of text type column. All right. So uh, because of that, uh, what you can do is you can enter, you know, just a regular text. All right. Here we go. Perfect. Now, let's just say I want to format this text. Maybe I want to you know, change the color. Maybe you, uh, I want to make it bold, underline it, et cetera. Unfortunately, the way it's set up, uh, you cannot really do that. All right, the, by default, you cannot really do it. I mean, it's pretty much just regular text here and you cannot really style it. So let me show you what you need to do to change that setting. It's actually just a quick setting. What you need to do is navigate back to that column that uh, multiple lines of text column right here. Under more options, just toggle the switch on right here. Use enhanced rich text. And by default, it's a no. You want to make it a, as a yes. Click save. And that's it. Let me show you what happened now. When you enter some text here, let me just uh, enter uh, a, an issue title here. Here we go. When you enter some text here, what you need to do now is you need to click on the pencil icon and you know enter some text. And now you have pretty much the same tools available you have in Office Suite, right? You can change the um, you know the uh, um, you know font, you can change the colors, uh, you can make it bold, you can even uh, you know insert maybe you want to link to someone to uh, some uh, website uh, out there. What you can do is click three dots here and essentially add a link, all right? Um, so a, a bunch of things you can do. Typically, you can do those things in Word and Office um, you know, applications, but once you enable, uh, once you enable um, you know, essentially the toggle switch I showed you, let me click Save just to show you what it looks like right here, all right? Uh, then in that case, you can format the text uh, the way you like it. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you learned uh, something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.